Hi everyone, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. This is Ashley's Lullaby Nursery. And in today's video, I am in my kitchen. Um, I don't usually film in here. So today I'm doing something a little different. This is probably not going to be a dolly video. This is just going to be like a little update video. I decided to start making uh, new mom videos or vlogs. Uh, they, they're not going to be every day. They might be maybe once a week, once every two weeks. It all depends on Emilia's schedule. Um, she's there in the background. Oops, sorry. She's just in her bouncy chair right now watching Barney. She loves Barney. You <laughs> can hear her laughing. Um, but yeah, I thought it'd be cool to start. Oh my gosh, don't mind my hair, you guys. I'm literally in my pajamas still. I am a hot mess. I'm finally getting some coffee and breakfast going for myself. Baby girl had already eaten her breakfast and taken her nap. So now she's in a good mood watching Barney. But um, yeah, I thought it'd be fun to come on here every now and then and do just simple little daily life vlogs for you guys to show you how I'm adjusting to motherhood and you know having one baby right now and in the future we'll have more but as of right now we only have one so I still want to show you guys how I get through my day and what I do to get through my day and you know how I cope with her when she's fussy and things like that um so Mind you, this is not like a planned video. I'm just winging it right now. I'm going to do editing later on and whatever. So I hope it turns out well. And I hope it's, because um, I have to do it in parts, obviously. So I hope it all comes together nicely in the end and it makes sense. But I'm about to, you know, make my coffee, butter my bagel, enjoy my breakfast while little one is watching Barney. Um, and this is my chaotic apartment right now. There's basket of laundry to be folded from yesterday, a pot to be washed from when I made dinner. Thankfully, hubby cleaned the kitchen for me. So as you guys can see, like it's, oops, it's pretty clean. Um, so yeah, he's helped me a lot. He usually does this every morning anyway, so it gives me a huge, uh, you know, st um, jump start to the morning because I get in the kitchen and if he's not here anymore if he's in the office or if he doesn't have the time I'll make her a bottle but the main thing I need is for the dishes to be cleared up and there's nothing in the way of the sink or anything like that and I can get through my morning but um what else was I gonna say oh yeah and little Miss Amelia decided to wake up so early today and yesterday she woke up between 6 and 6 30 and usually that is not the time she wakes up most days or I should say every day she's up between 7 and 8 a.m. and then she's in bed around 7 30 sometimes 7 between 7 and 8 30 I'll say is when she's usually in bed sleeping for the night um sometimes I have to wake up wake her up for one more feeding in the night but that's way before like nine o'clock I try to get it done way before then because then she'll be up too late but holy moly this little one is changing her whole schedule and I am not about it I am not on board for this I like that she wakes up between 7 and 8.30 every morning. For me, that's a good time. Because before I got pregnant, that was usually, 7 o'clock was usually the time I would wake up for work. So I'm okay with that. But 6 o'clock is too early for mama. But yeah, so right now, it's just a little bit of a slowish, everywhere kind of chaotic morning. But I will update you guys throughout the day and see how this video turns out. But yeah, I'm glad to be back in it, you know, back on it, making videos for you guys. Like I said, these may not be dolly videos. I might every now and then talk about it, show a doll in a video, but these specific vlog videos will be about me being a mom of one, especially on days when hubby's in the office, you know, my day being by myself at home with her, how I get through my days. So yeah. Talk to you in a bit, guys. See ya.
I just wanted to show you guys three of the photos we took in our maternity shoot while I was pregnant for Miss Amelia. And these are the three I've picked to put in bigger um, frames. So like bigger photos, blown up pictures of us. Um, so here's the first one. Oh, sorry, don't mind the light glaring. Is that one. This one. And then this one. And believe it, believe it or not, you guys, these beautiful photos were taken in my in-laws' backyard. They have the perfect uh, space for professional photos to be taken. It is a gorgeous backyard. But yeah, I'm very pleased with how they turn out. I'm coming, my love. I'm coming. I'm coming. Anyways, I just wanted to show you guys these three beautiful pictures of us. All right, so I'm finally about to wash baby girl's bottles. I do use our tap water because our city has really clean water. So I trust our tap water enough to clean her bottles with. And then once or twice a week, I sanitize them in the dishwasher. So I'll run them in the dishwasher, get them nicely sanitized. And then every other day I just hand wash them. But this is the dish soap that I use for her bottles. It is the Attitude Baby brand, Attitude Little Ones, um, and this is Pear Nectar. It's very safe for baby bottles. I bought this on Amazon. I got three bottles. So it's cruelty free and vegan. It's made in Canada. It's safe for babies. I've looked through the ingredients. So that is what I use for baby girls bottles. And I currently have her on the floor playing. She's getting a little fussy, so I, I think it's time for her next feeding. I may have to wear her in the Zoberlo comforter so that I could get her bottles washed. But yeah, our morning is moving along. I'm finished my breakfast. Baby girl's still watching Barney, but I have her on the floor now with her toys while I can get her bottles washed and then after that, maybe another nap so that I can finally fold her laundry, which is over here, and I have more in the dryer. So, yeah, it's been a pretty busy morning. I'll check back in again soon. All right, so baby girl wants snuggles with mama. I got her in the Zoberlo body comforter. As you can see, she's all wrapped up. I'm just walking around and bouncing her so she can fall asleep because she's so tired. Her first nap wasn't really a full nap anyway. It was like maybe 15 minutes because I had to use the bathroom. So I was in the bathroom. I saw on the baby monitor that she had woken up. So I was like, yeah, this is not a full nap. She's going to be sleepy again. So after watching Barney and being overstimulated... <laughs> Little Miss Amelia is ready for sleep. She's so tired. Um, I'm sorry if you guys see any mess in the background of this video. I still have to get <laughs> my daily routine going. Um, I gotta wash my bed sheets anyway, so that's why I haven't made my bed yet. But usually in my videos, everything is clean, tidy, put away. So you guys get to finally see the messy side of me. Um, which is still not that bad, but I am one who likes to keep on top of everything. I like to be organized and have everything in its place. So I got to do that eventually. Today, obviously, I will not let it go more than a day. But um, yeah, it's easier for me to get things done faster when she's sleeping in her crib holding her does it is sorry it is easier while carrying her or wearing her um because this is hands-free but her weight in the front is still kind of hard to 
you know, maneuver around things. So when I bend over, I still have to support her with one hand because she'll be hanging too much. Um, and I don't want to, you know, risk her falling out. So I just, my instincts, I always grab onto her if I'm bending down. So that still leaves me with only one hand to do something um, that might need two hands. So I'm just, I'm learning as I go along, you know, it's, this is all new to me. I have a lot of experience with babies, but never my own. So now that it's my own, you know, it's, it's all falling into place as the days go on. But yeah, so right now she's just going down for a nap and her eyes are shut. So she's, I'll just show you a little bit. <laughs> she's definitely ready for sleep. Um, yeah, so I'll check in again in a bit. Hopefully after my next check-in, my hair is a little bit more neat because oh my god it is crazy right now <laughs> but yeah so that's my morning so far oh my gosh I have two boxes to unpack that I got from Amazon I bought a new um, mini um, carpet cleaner a shampooer but I'm using it on my sofa I got rid of my rugs way before I got pregnant or maybe early pregnancy I can't remember um, and uh, Anyways, yeah, our couch needs to be cleaned. So, and with Amelia eventually being, you know, getting everywhere and crawling, I want the couch to be clean for her especially because babies rub their faces on everything. So, yeah, I'm going to give it a nice cleaning so that I have to unpack. And then I also bought a, like a steamer. It's a cleaner, little small machine that's good for like um, the tracks of your refrigerator um, maybe even your stove on the outside. Just those hard, kicked on areas that need a hard, deeper cleaning. So I bought those two appliances yesterday, or the day before they got delivered yesterday. And I still have to un unpack them. Oh, yeah. <coughs> um, so just go with the flow this morning you guys anyways baby girl is pretty much asleep I'm just gonna wait a little bit longer before I put her down I might wash her bottles while wearing her give it some time and then put her down because with her if you put her down right away she'll wake up I have to wait at least depending how tired she is any anywhere from like 10 to 20 minutes before I put her down and she'll stay asleep so yeah so little miss me is gonna go for a nap while mommy catches up with the housework and I will check back again in a bit bye see you hi guys so I am feeding her second feeding of the day Oops. and she's getting sleepy again so this would be technically her third nap but hopefully the sec like a second full nap she's almost done her four ounces so she's gonna go down after this we'll change her diaper first and then put her down for her nap oh, I'm trying to get a good grip of my phone sorry anyways so yeah baby girl's finishing her milk and then change her diaper put her down for another nap during that nap I'm gonna attempt at doing some more tidying up and possibly change out of my pajamas and you know get, get kind of put together for the day but I'll see you guys back in a bit. Bye! Good bird! Good job! Oh, good, good girl! Good burp! You done burping? Hmm? All right, so putting baby girl down for her second nap. Well, third, like I said, but technically second full nap. Hopefully she sleeps for this entire nap, like at least an hour or two, so I could get some things done. But she's snuggling up with me right now, just patting her bum and rocking her, trying to keep her nice and relaxed so she can fall asleep. Um, but yeah, so far so good morning is starting to become a little bit easier now that I have hopes for her to stay down for her nap um 
and obviously get the rest of my chores done i like to get majority of everything done in the morning that way throughout the day if i have to do something last minute that i forgot to do the other day or a project that i started and hadn't finished yet because there was no time you know i like to save some time for those things after i get the main stuff done which is typical household chores like the dishes and putting laundry away and you know dusting a bit sweeping the floors things like that so yeah i'm hoping to get all those things done while she's sleeping for this nap so i'll check back in again soon She's sleeping. I can get some things done. So let me turn on the monitor. Keep an eye on her while I finish my chores. <clears throat> and there she is, sleeping away. Okay, now Mama can finally get things done. Hopefully, I can get it all done during this nap. So I'll be back again. <laughs> hey everyone. So little update on how the morning went and how the day is going. Amelia has been a little fussy. She has not been really finishing her feedings because she's getting so tired during her feeding. So she's just been falling asleep and then waking up and then repeating that. But in between, she's been a little fussy. So right now she's going down for another nap. But I think I'm going to end off the video here. It is, uh, I think it's like two something. Yeah, it's just after 2.40, so I'm going to put her down for a nap, and Yuki, and um, just go on with the day. So this is not going to be a full day from morning to, like, waking up to going to bed vlog, so I'm just going to end it off here. Hey, this is the first time I'm trying it, and the more I get into it, the easier it will get, I hope, <laughs> especially with my baby, but... Um, yeah, so I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, you know, whatever you're doing, hope you're spending your time wisely. So until next time, everybody, oops, take care and stay safe. Bye.